This is Coded Org, and we're drawing a ladybug. Let's see what's going on here. Well, I see code, so I'm going to hit run, of course. Oh, it's a ladybug. We're done. Congrats. Just kidding. All right. So let's see. You can draw individual points on the graph on the screen using two commands. Point draws a single point on the screen. That makes sense. Stroke weight controls how big that point is. Let's use these new blocks to draw a ladybug on the screen. Done. The code has already been started for you. Yep. See if you can finish it. Okay. So read the code uh, that makes the picture use the point block. So notice here, guys, the point blocks, right? We have numbers following all of these, and that's because they are all related to the magical grid that's hidden that is used, though, to draw all this out. So I'm going to hit show grid. And so, for instance, uh, a point, a dot, is drawn at 200, 170. And if I hover my mouse over, as long as I'm not running it, oh, maybe it does work now while running. Hey, that's cool. Um, if I hover my mouse over, notice way down here, the little X and Y. So 200 and 170 is about here-ish. So I assume that is the head. Now, stroke weight makes something really thick. Um, and so that makes sense that they drew this circle with a 35 thickness because it's all black. Then they changed the thickness to 5 and red. So I assume this is the inside. All right, first things first, let's do these dots. So I'm going to grab point and point, and I'm going to hit run, and I'm not going to see them really because they're all stacked right here in the center. I promise you they're there, but they're at 200, 200, and we already had a dot there. So let's start moving these around. I'm not really sure. I'm going to just do 220. Now keep in mind X and Y, so left and right, up and down. And also, the graph is kind of flipped, right? Zero, zero is up here. So if I want to be way down here, for Y, that is 400. Keep that in mind. Let's see what 220 gets us. Whoop. Wrong direction, way over here. And that makes sense because I need to go this way. So if I hover my mouse, hmm, it seems like roughly 190. Oh, and look, that's what they did up here for this guy, and it's symmetrical. Let's give that a shot. Cool. Okay, and now we need one more, which is this one. So I need to do Y, but I know I need to increase it because Y goes up, increases if we go down. So I'm going to try 210. Boom, and cool. All right. Challenge. This ladybug has no legs. Oh, but it has little wingies. See if you can use another block to give it some legs. Hmm. All right. So that's going to be a challenge. How many legs do ladybugs have? I don't know why I'm asking you, the computer. Well, you watching this. Uh, It should be six. So we're going to need to add six legs. This is going to get tricky and annoying. All right. Let's first just do a stroke blue. Um, and we're going to make sure this is going to be a really thick line, I think, but let's just check it out. Oh, wait a minute. That's just the color. What am I doing here? Oh, are we not? Hmm. Maybe I'll just do big dots for line. So I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to do some more points. Let's try. So if I had to guess way over here, it looks like 170 for X. And then I'm going to change the stroke weight, which again is how thick the line is. Let's see what three looks like. Not that big at all. Let's see what 30 looks like. Huge. Ooh, I'm liking that. Nope, that's what I'm going to do for legs. Just little tiny legs. We could also do little rectangles, but I like it like this. All right, so I'm going to do a few more of these real quick. Bum -ba -dum. So here are my legs. I started with stroke rate, and I had to finagle a little bit, but I got six little dots for legs. He can walk. Adorable. Cool. You might want to mess around. Make yours better than mine. I mean, I just think mine's the best, but yeah. Um, we're...